So, I never thought in a million years I would be doing this sort of video. I had to go to therapy to get myself to this point. I love my hair. My hair insecurity journey, it started when I was 15 and I came into the UK and I remember showing up to class with my afro as I was used to doing in my home country Kenya. This girl who shall not be named in case you're watching hello she came to me and she whispered oh honey we don't wear our hair like that here long story short relax my hair and then so i went from doing weaves every four weeks and when i didn't have a weave i would have a wig on to just cover myself up the point at which i started to question myself was in 2020 we're in 2020 we're locked in literally all the hairdressers are closed so i had a boyfriend who was white white and then i realized oh my gosh i have to face my boyfriend who at this point one year in had never actually seen my natural hair by this time my hair was so damaged by all the weaves and wigs now let's talk about it and i'm not here to bash anyone if you're on your own weave wig journey fair play to you the lace was actually damaging my hair my own scalp wasn't breathing it was like under undercover and thankfully my boyfriend he took me on that journey he was patient with me he loved me for my hair for who i was uh i i did all sorts i went for the oils i spent so much money I remember taking MSM and absolutely going off my mind. Aloe vera, onion, oh, I smelled like a curry. Anyway, at this point I was going through therapy for other reasons. And I remember just saying to my therapist, actually, I feel so insecure. I don't wanna go to work with my natural hair. I don't wanna go to a job interview with my natural hair. I've been told that black girls are the least attractive women in the world especially because of our hair because we can't do that thing our hair is not cascading down our butt or whatever people want to say my therapist worked with me and i remember her going you know you've you've just got to jump out of your comfort zone and i was like you know what i'm determined i'm gonna do it what could go wrong will i die will i die if i show up in my hair looking natural and stuff when you start getting used to how your face looks with your natural hair you're going to start loving your face every time i looked in the mirror and i didn't like my face i was like it's just because i'm not used to it our hair is the only type of hair that defies gravity it's actually going actually i am beautiful from within my hair defies gravity my head is my crown i am blessed like the hair is one thing i can have butt implants boob implants all kind of implants i can change my teeth but literally my hair is growing from my scalp and when i stop when i start to love what's growing from my scalp then then i get to love that part of me so your body is 70 percent water so if you want to water this garden you've got to water yourself most black women we actually have really low iron so i doubled up on my iron supplements and i doubled up on my vitamin d supplements in winter and i've also now been taking biotin but it's got to be really high quality biotin the girl that inspired me on this journey is called star puppy she did a video about her hair regimen and all the oils that she mixes and uses so this is like a video if you're going through something like that where you probably there's a part of you that you don't really like i would say like start liking it before it even changes because then that gives you the motivation to take care of it to nurture it to let it grow and whatever phase you're in you're just gonna continue loving it <laughs>